morning everybody, it is Friday the 5th of March, welcome back, the banner is up ready for Monday, we are so excited to see you, I really really can't wait, but before Friday, before Monday, let's see who's won the gold award this week, as I say, can't wait to see you Monday, we'll have some hot drinks for parents, we'll have uh, music on, uh, we'll wake everybody up, we'll be having a really good mood and we'll have a really warm well welcome for you all, can't wait to see you, have a lovely weekend and rest, um, and then Monday we're back together. Okay, so we'll go that way, follow the banner. So let's, Friday the 5th of March, let's roll the gold awards. This week, my gold award winner goes to somebody who has really changed their attitude. They have worked really hard to better themselves and they've been following the school rules brilliantly in school. Even though they've not been in this week, they have been producing some fantastic home learning and I cannot wait to see them again in my class next week on Monday. Alex Clark, it is you. Well done. Me again. Happy Friday. This um, person is somebody that I have had the honour to work with during lockdown, but this week they have gone above and beyond with their English work. They are loving writing front adverbials and they're doing well, really well at finishing the sentences. Also now during their research for tsunamis, they are producing some fantastic facts and I cannot wait to put it all together to create an oncological report. They are so ready for everybody to come back just like me, but they've so deserved it during this lockdown. They've really gone above and beyond and they've worked so hard with their maths because it hasn't been easy. So Esther, congratulations, it goes to Hi you. Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm so excited to see everybody back at school on Monday. My gold award winner this week though, it's been another tough decision, but somebody has stood out because of their hard work throughout all the home learning. They've tried at everything. They ask questions if they get stuck. They're always there to edit and have a go at improving their work and this week, my gold award winner goes to somebody in Miss Thompson's class and it goes to you, Jessica. Well done, Jessica. You've been a fantastic worker. You've kept me on my toes. You've sent in lots of work and you've been fantastic throughout. Well done, you. This week, my star of the week goes to somebody that I'm going to be so dearly teaching. I really enjoyed having in my class in school for the time being. So, my gold award this week goes to Jack Milan in Mr Davis's class. You have been an absolute joy to teach over the last 12 weeks, Jack, and I'm really going to be seeing your face every day. So, it's the end of the home learning. It's been really, really hard to choose the gold award this week because over the past few weeks, you've all been so amazing doing so much, going above and beyond, just keep like learning and working. So it's been really, really tough. I'm so excited for everyone to come back to school though. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. So it's understandable if you're feeling a little bit nervous, you've been at home for a long time now, but honestly, the classroom is looking absolutely fabulous. I'm sure you'll all be excited to see it again because it is looking quite different. We have something new that's arrived. Um, and also it was so nice to see everyone again, all your friends, everyone back in the school. So it's going to be really, really good. But back to the Gold Award. This week, my Gold Award is going to somebody who's been in school and sometimes they find school quite tricky just because of the pace of it all and um, distractions that can sometimes be there. But over lockdown, this person has impressed me so much and I really hope the attitude they've got now continues when everyone's back in school. So this week, well done, my Gold Award is you, Edward. Hello everybody, um, happy Friday. Um, it's been another fantastic uh, week in Year 5 AB. Um, I know the children at school have been impressing Miss Higginbottom, but the home learners, you have been phenomenal uh, this week. I am so proud of you all. Uh, but this week I am giving the gold award to a young man in my class who has really given his best every single week uh, since he has been working at home. Um, he does every lesson, he tries really hard. Um, I cannot fault his, his effort and his attitude at all, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, and I can't wait to see him back in school next week. Uh, so this week, the gold award goes to Daniel. Well done, Daniel, you really deserve it. My Gold Award this week is going to somebody who, on the days they have been in school, has been working exceptionally hard. They've been using their manners, they've been polite, they've been playing everything that we've been asking them to play outside, doing all the work that we've been getting on with inside, giving it the best bet and 
just generally impressing all of the adults. It's a real change of attitude. And I'm really hoping on Monday when we all come back, that he's gonna keep it up, carrying on impressing us and making us so proud of him. So well done, Logan, it is you. Hello everyone. My gold award winner this week goes to someone who's gone that extra mile during their lockdown learning. This person has been a true superstar. She always submits her work and it's always done to a high standard. I'm going to let you into a secret now. Us teachers actually sometimes use her work for the answers. Avika, you are amazing and we can't wait to see you on Monday. Please come in with that big grin on your face. Excellent work. Please keep it up.